<laughs> One more. Alright, I put the age on already. Alright. Ta da. Here you go. I wonder why it's called a bloom light. It seems like it was first developed at some video games event. The creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. Said the attendees were, of course, some part, part of some big games company. Seems that company always used too much bloom lighting, so the bartender there literally made them drink all of the bloom. So it's not called that because it glows in the dark? Not this one, no. Come to think of it, did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? Ooh. In more ways than one, I guess. Would you say for better or for worse? Ooh. Well, worse at the moment, but who knows what the final answer will be. <laughs> I guess I said worse as in, like, the way she feels at the moment, rather than actually as a person. I guess for the better, I'm too thick-headed to develop any new bad habits. Although thanks to my first boyfriend, I did very <laughs> did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. So you were one of those kinds of people. As for me, sometimes I think I became more... Er, what's the word? Cynical? Jaded? Bitter? Tired of everything this world and everyone throws in it on a daily basis? Wow. Hey, I'm just quoting you. Oh, <laughs> alright. But yeah, I think I became all that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. Oh boy. She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How is that bad? We'd all go and protest, we'd start all kind of movements and see change. I really got into the whole thing. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I'd find myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that everyone was w not everyone was willing to go that far. Well, yeah, some people just want to do it until it gets difficult. I found out pretty fast that most of them were in the whole thing because of some fad. It is a, that, activism is not a good thing to be in because of a fad. And not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were championing. So I moved from group to group, only to find that people were in it because of a fad. And when they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were the kind of dangerous extremist. Wow. My tolerance for people was dramatically diminished after that. So it wasn't so much the person you had a relationship with, other, but rather the other people. That's interesting. Um, you seriously never thought about it that way? Uh. You need to stop putting the blame for what you do on past relationships. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Where's the other guy, by the way? He had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh yeah, that one that was here if you... <clears throat> the one that was here asked if you were the nice vet lady that works at the Cypher Toy Company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Why didn't he do it then? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay from dogs isn't enough to keep up with the mounting debts. I don't know how you do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all. Well, this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing... nothing. Or at least I think we're paying him. I'm not completely certain we do. No oh, man, you guys want anything else? Well, we're fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow, and by we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic, and I won't stand the heat for another had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. Fine. Let's go then. See ya, Jill. Bye. Please come again. They were interesting, again. Man, you're such a party pooper. You'll be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if someone comes. Alright. Oh, man. Oh.
Alrighty. So, made it to break in relatively short time. No dogs in sight. Okay then, back to work. Welcome to Val- Oh, hey there, Alma. Oh, hey. Um, this is weird. Ah. <sighs> she seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer her up. Huh. But what she really likes... What? I forget. Classy drinks. I think she likes the Fringe Weaver, doesn't she? I don't know. Hey. Hmm, and this? It's on me. Drink so you can at least change your expression. Why not just say you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? Huh. <laughs> so, how is it? Well, it has alcohol and I'm in a bar, so... Good enough, I guess. I got you to speak, that's all I wanted. What, you're gonna jinx me or something? No, but... You being down in silence is uncanny. You're making it these you're making it sound like I'm some sort of windbag. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Thanks. So, why are you all deflating? Deflating. When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly, my grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. Oh man. <laughs> So what is it? What was it? Was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, that's old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. Silly Alma, I've been feeling pretty bad the past couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. <laughs> So go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so remember my sister Dana? Would I be supposed to pronounce it Diana? Diana? Whatever, I'm gonna stick with Dana. And the one that separated from her husband and got her kids, and forgot her kids while screwing her way around or something? Perfect summary, I'll use it next time. I didn't really tell you the whole story, more specifically, that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Oh, man. That's... not good. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that, but my mom and dad were hard both my mom and dad were hard workers. Yeah. It's weird how that happens sometimes. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Oh. Nice. Huh. So what does this fully capable woman do a couple weeks later? Why bring her abusive husband back, of course. Oh, what Really? What? Yeah. And the guy spends a couple days with her before leaving her. Oh, I'm sorry. I punched my microphone. Before leaving her again. He had a couple of hot, steamy nights and then just left. Oh, man. I, uh, well. He reacted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. <laughs> but the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her self just to get money. But it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. And being such, such sweet angels, they've made a whole mess out of the place. Fernando and Eva are actually staying with me a couple of days to give them some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Dana. So we're in the car and she asked how her kids are. And of course, after all the built-up tension, I just exploded. Oh man. 
First I started ranting about how our kids are growing up and seeing some messed up stuff. Yeah. I start scolding her about not taking responsibility and not taking proper care of her children. Hmm. I tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. And after all that she just says, What do you know? You don't have any kids. Well, you don't need to have... All of those things were separate from the kids having thing, really. The fact that you have kids just should further enforce the fact that you shouldn't be an irresponsible tool. Huh. Yeah, I don't have kids, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Eva and Bernando, and they've pr turned out pretty well. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Extra picture, that's... Interesting. Ah! Wow. I, I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. But Dana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Yeah. Any way I could help? You just did. <laughs> I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry though, and I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom, your daughter is terrible. I just need to get all this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I see, there's still a lot more to get off your chest. It's really swollen. Oh, wow. <laughs> nah, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. Okay. Is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. Uh, uh, kidding, kidding. Okay. I guess the, the only one that didn't get the big boobs gene was Eva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. True. These can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. Oh boy. And poor Bernando. Oh, what? His breast actually started growing when he was eight. I just hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the family. My father's sister is still quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. Ouch. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had any problems with that. Ooh, I see. The conversations that these two have with each other are some of the most interesting to me, because you get to learn more about Jill every time. It seems like she's having a legit chat with one of her friends. I like it. Hey, you know what worries me the most about the whole Dana situation? How your nephews are turning out? If she leaves them with my mom, they'll turn out better than her somehow. Actually, what worries me is what if I end up like that too? How so? If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out to be terrible? <laughs> What if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that? What if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all of that? I don't think you would do that. You seem like you're smarter than that. If you ask me the fact that you're even worried about it is an indication enough that you'll be fine. There you go. You think? I'm pretty sure. You said before that she pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? Did I just get my screen recorder? I accidentally brought the weather up for a second. I don't know if that got in the way of the recording. Yeah. No offense, but those aren't the kind of people... But those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if a guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your irrational standards. Oh, man. Hey. Am I lying? No. But there are things best kept as unspoken truths. I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You will. You'll know when the time comes. Oh, that's comforting. I sure hope so. 
For now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Hmm. Give me something with ice, but alcoholic, please. Alright. Let's see here. Brand teeny. That does not have any of that. Uh. Mercury Blast? There we go. Something cold and with alcohol. Maybe I can get one better than that, though. Bad touch. I'll double it up just so she can have more alcohol. Uh, here you go. Thanks, I needed to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. So, you said you feel pretty terrible the past couple of days? Why? Don't think too much about it. Oh, come on, you heard my problems. I want to help you too. Oh, that's nice. Don't worry too much. Right, I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> sure, something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess at my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? Can I can get one? Hmm, to be honest, I wouldn't know. You can bring it if you want. I won't. Get, it won't go to waste. Gotcha. Hmm, say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess the legs. I guess I like the legs the most. They're just the easiest to eat, you know? As far as like whole chicken, chicken wings are pretty easy too. But like when you get like a other like a thigh or something, I feel like the bones get in the way too much. Really, I like the breasts better. <laughs> Breast is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have better texture. Maybe, but simple is usually better. Better. Ugh. Breast is easier to enjoy than legs, and a a lot less messy. <laughs> you silly girls. Boss. Oh, yeah. You're t there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best parts of the wings. Boss, what's that? Spicy chicken wings? Where did you get spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken. <laughs> You know, spicy chicken, the shop, the block, too, that's even funnier. Sorry, let me phrase, rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? That's the best counter question. Well, because that thought as much. <laughs> Yo, Armitage. Alma. I know what I said. Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? You might need to heat it up. But it'd be cooked otherwise. Great, I'd expect to hear you here at Sunday at 8pm. Thanks. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. She left the bucket. Want some? Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice, nice. Weird, maybe she got a mixed up order and that's why she left him here. She usually, she usually orders stronger stuff. I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Oh, man. Oh. Hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I want them to be decent enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. All reasonable things. That's no good. Do you like them? Oh, God. Here we go. Stupid physical things that don't really matter. Do you like them buff? What about tall? Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never really liked either. What about you? I like them well-dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Some muscle is always fine, too, but sharp... 
sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. Oh boy. And yet you're still single. Ouch. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another complicate for another matter completely. I see. <laughs> so can you get me a drink here? The spicy winks turned out to be spicy. What do I get you? Anything as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay. I don't know what to do to get... Uh, let's see. I don't think we'd want to give her another spicy thing, do we? How would we... how would we... counter that? I don't know. I'm just gonna... Nah, uh, let's uh... Try something colder, I guess? Sour? Screw it. Alright. 